Today our lab is implementation of half header, half subtractor, full header and full subtractor on a process. So objectives of our lab are learn logic circuits of half header and half subtractor, learn logic circuits of full header, full subtractor and verify this circuit on process. So next we are going to use the equipment which are logic trainer, connecting wires, proteus and or not not we use IC we are going to use gates so first of all we have to know what are adders and what are subtractors and what are half adder full adders and what are half subtractor and full subtractors an adder is a digital circuit that performs addition of commas the half adder has two binary digits called as organ and adder and produces two inputs as sum and carry so we can say that half adder is a circuit which sum the two numbers say we have two inputs a and b so the half adder adds the two numbers and give us the two outputs one is sum and one is carry so this is the half adder and here you can see the logic diagram of a half adder where we have two inputs and two outputs sum and carry now what is full adder Full adder. This adder is difficult to implement than a half adder. The difference between a half adder and full adder is that full adder has three inputs and two outputs, where half adder has only two inputs and two outputs. In half adder, we have a third input is an input carry. When a full adder logic is designed, you string eight of them together to create a byte wide adder and cascade carry bit from one adder to the next. So here you can see the logic diagram of a full adder where we have three inputs. Input A, input B, to where are the two numbers and we have also one input also which is called carry input. So this is the difference between half adder and full adder. In full adder we have three inputs A, B and carry in and two outputs sum and carry out. So this is the logic diagram of full adder. After this we have a half subtractor, we can say that half subtractor means that we have to subtract two numbers A and B. Similarly here you can see the truth table of a half subtractor where we have two inputs like a half adder 0 0 when we have the input 0 0 so the difference between 0 and borrow is also 0. When we have the input 0 and 1 so we have to take a borrow at the input A then we have the output difference 1 and we also have the borrow 1 because we have to take the borrow to subtract these numbers when we have the inputs 1 0 so 1 0 is simple 1 0 difference is 1 and borrow is 0 because we now we do not have to take a borrow when we have the inputs 1 1 the, the difference is 0 and borrow is 0 because 1 minus 1 is 0 after this we have a full subtractor like the half adder we have a third input in the full subtractor which is called the borrow input here you can see the truth table of a full subtractor we have three inputs a b c with c input is called the borrow input and similarly two outputs difference and borrow output now when the all three inputs are zero we have the difference zero and borrow zero when the a is zero b is zero and borrow input means c is 1 then the reference is 1 and borrow is also 1 and similarly for other inputs now by using this truth table we are going to design the circuits of half header half subtract now here you can see the truth table of half header and half subtractor first we can see the half header we have the two inputs a b and two outputs sum and carry when the inputs are 0 0 sum is 0 and carry is 0 when the inputs are 0 1 then sum is 1 carry is 0 when the inputs are 1 0 then sum is 1 carry is 0 when the inputs are 1 1 then sum is 0 carry is 1 because 1 1 0 and carry 1 by using this truth table I have made this circuit of a half an for the sum you can see that 
when both inputs are same means that when inputs are 0 0 and 1 1 the outputs are 0 otherwise when the inputs are different from each other 0 1 and 1 0 the output is 1 1 so we can say that we have to implement x or gate for this sum and when you see that for the input c the output is 1 bin both inputs are 1 1 otherwise it is 0 so we can say that we have to implement the AND gate for the carry output so here you can see the circuit of half adder and half subtractor I have also implemented this circuit by using only NAND gate we have to convert this XOR gate into NAND gates and this AND gate into NAND gate so we are going to convert this XOR and AND gate of the half subtractor and adders into by using NAND gates only so we need to know the technique how to convert these AND gates into NAND gates so here you see the AND gate technique we have to convert the AND gate into NAND gate by using two NAND gates first NAND gate is the inputs AB and then the second NAND gate so by using this technique I can convert the AND gate into NAND gates and I have also used the XOR gate so in the last you can see the technique to convert the XOR gate into NAND gate by using 4 NAND gates so by using this technique I am going to change the XOR gate and AND gate into NAND gates only so here you can see that I have converted this XOR gate into NAND gate by using these four NAND gates and to convert this AND gate I have to use two AND gates first this AND gate and this AND gates output is then go to this NAND gate and we obtain the output carry after this we have the truth table of the half subtractor here you can see that we have the two inputs A and B and two outputs difference and borrow when the inputs are 0 0 we have difference 0 and borrow 0 when the inputs are 0 1 1 then we have the difference 0 and difference 1 and borrow also 1 when we have the inputs 1 0 then the difference is 1 borrow is 0 when we have the 1 1 then difference is 0 and borrow 0 because 1 1 is 0 difference also 0 and borrow is also 0 now by using this truth table I have to make the circuit of half subtractor here you can see the truth table of a half subtractor where we have also the one XOR gate and one NAND gate and NOT gate for the AND gate we have the output borrow where the input B is coming and the NOT of A is coming so we have to convert this XOR gate into NAND gates and AND gates so for this we have used these four NAND gates to convert this XOR gate into NAND gate and two NAND gates to convert this AND gate into NAND gates now I am going to implement these circuits for half adder and half subtractor on a protease now I have made the circuits for the half adder using the XOR gate and AND gate and using the NAND gate also on protease on the left hand side you can see the circuit that I have made by using the XOR gate and AND gates the XOR gate is for the sum and the AND gate is for the carry out the LEDs show the outputs high and low now I have replaced this XOR gate by using AND gate, NAND gates these four NAND gates are for the XOR gate and I have shown you the technique to convert the XOR gate into NAND gates and this AND IC, NAND IC and this NAND IC are for the AND gates now when I run this circuit you can see the simulation when we have both inputs 0 0 in both circuit then the sum is 0 and carry is 0 then when I give the high at the input A you see that the sum is 0 and the carry is sum is 1 and carry is 0 now when I am giving the low at the input A and high at the input B 
you can see that sum is 1 and carry is 0 now when I am giving the both inputs I now you can see that the carry is 1 and sum is 0 which we can verify from the clock table that our circuit is running correct so by using this gears we can easily make the circuit of half header now we are going to implement the circuit of the half circuit by using the same technique which we studied See that I had implemented the circuit of the half subtractor using the XOR gates, AND gate and using the NAND gate only. The truth table I have showed you earlier by using that truth table I have made that circuit. The XOR gate is for the difference, AND gate is for the borrow. And by using NAND gates I have to replace this XOR gate into 4 NAND gates and this AND gate into 2 NAND gates. So that circuit is made. Now I am going to run this circuit. Now you can see that when both inputs are 0 0 the difference is 0 and borrow is also 0. Now when I am giving the high at the input A, now the 1 0 the difference is 1 and the borrow is 0 and similarly by using NAND gates the difference is 1 and borrow is 0. Now when I am giving the high at the input B and low at the output A, now you can see that both the difference and the borrow is 1 1 on the both circuits now when I'm giving the high at the both inputs now you can see that the difference is 0 and the borrow is also 0 and similarly by using the NAND gate only so by using this technique we can easily make the circuit of a half subtractor and we can check the truth table by using the simulation now for the full header and full subtractor I have made that truth table you can see that in a full header and full subtractor we have three inputs and only two outputs when we talk about the full header we have the inputs a b and carry input and the output is sum and carry out now when the inputs are 0 0 0 then the sum is 0 and carry input carry output is also 0 when the inputs are 0 0 and 1 then the sum is 1 and carry output is 0 and similarly so on for the next inputs now by using the truth table of a full header i am going to implement the circuit by using gates on the left hand side you can see the circuit of the left adders these are the circuits for the full adder by using xor gate and by using nand gates only on the left hand side you can see that i have made the circuit of the full adder using xor gate and the and gate and or gate also and on the right hand side I have convert all these gates into NAND gates only and I have shown you the technique how to convert these XOR gates into NAND gate only previously now I have to implement that gate on the produce first we see the circuit of the full subtractor also then we go to the produce here is the truth table of the full subtractor you see that here are the inputs A, B and borrow input and two outputs difference and borrow output now by using the actual table I have made the circuit of the full subtractor here you can see the circuit of full subtractor on the left hand side you see that I have used the two XOR gates two AND gates and one OR gate and I have converted all these gates into NAND gates also and right hand side you can see that circuit now I have to implement that gates on Proteus now here you can see the circuit of a full adder on top you can see that I have made the circuit by using XOR gates, AND gates and OR gates and the, on the bottom you can see that I have implemented the same circuit by using only NAND gates. Now when I run the circuit you can verify the truth table and the circuit on Proteus. Now when I run the circuit and now you see that when all the inputs are 0 0 0 both the sum and carry is 0 now when I give the high and the input A then the sum is 1 and the carry is 0 now when I am giving the high at the input B also now you can see that the sum is 0 on both circuits and the carry is 1 and similarly now when I give the high at the C input carry input also now both the sum and carry is 1 1 because when 
we have three one then to add this we have the sum is one and the carry is also one so by using these techniques we can implement the circuit of a full adder very easily and we can check this circuit by using the truth table now we have to make the circuit of a full subtractor now i have made the circuit of a full subtractor on proteus by using same te techniques which we studied earlier on the top you can see that i have made the circuit of full subtractor using and gate xor gate and or gate and on the bottom you can see that i have converted all these gates into nand gate now when i run the circuit you can see that when all the inputs are 0 0 0 then the difference is 0 and the body borrow output is also 0 now when i am giving the i i the input a you can see that the difference is 1 and the borrow output is 0 now when i am giving the high input at the b you see that both the difference and borrow output are 1 1 on the both circuit because both circuits are equal to each other just the technique is different now when I am giving the high at the all inputs, you see that the difference is 1 and the borrow output is also 1. Now when I am giving the high at the input A and the input B but the low at the borrow output so the difference is 0 and the borrow is output is also 0. Now you can verify that results from the truth table and check the circuits. Now in this lab we have studied the half header, half subtractor, full header and full subtractor and see that how to make the circuit of this and how we can convert the circuits of full subtractor, full header, half subtractor, half header by using the NAND gate also. So that's enough for today's lab. Thank you.